Okay, time to go get our guns. Hopefully we'll be able to have that really big photon gun thing. Oh, there we go, that thing. Photon burst. That harvester ship doesn't look very friendly. There we go, I think that's everything. What's that? Doesn't look like a weapon. Looks like a tricorder. Maybe I can bash them over the head with it. Okay, I'm ready. Ah, nobody else has bothered to come down here. Sure hope Tuvok is right about this gunship being operational. I don't think I want to come face to face with those harvesters. Tuvok's usually right. We've got plenty of time to board the ship and fire it. After this, we should be free and clear. Yeah, but you know what they say. What? If you see a light at the end of the wormhole, it's probably a photon torpedo. <laughs> Man, Joe, sometimes you make me think Murphy must have been a bullion. Who's Murphy? You know, Murphy's Law. Ah, trust me, you'd like him. Great. Now that we've finished with chit chat, we can Watch go. It. Oviedo, can you take a rain check? Come on. There aren't even any weapons there anymore. I've already taken them. Chop chop. Watch it. Tuvok, is there a purpose to this inquisition? Move it. Received and locked Mr. in, Commissaire, sir. Energize. Gravity's a little light here. Should have brought grav boots. <clears throat> Power to this area must be partially out. What are those? Looks like fighters. Fighters? I thought this ship didn't have a crew. Maybe they're automated. We do not have time for idle speculation. We should proceed. So I can jump really, really high now. There's a computer console on the upper level. Maybe we could restore power there. Mr. Monroe, find a way up there and see what you can do. Okay. Who can I jump on <coughs> this? Oh. <coughs> no. Oh well, back up again. There's a ladder here. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I jump onto there and follow these step like things up. Oh my 
god, this is like the most slippery surface ever. Jesus. Okay, let's try again. Right. There we go. Oh, thank God for that. I'm finally up here. A containment field. Environmental settings are normalizing. Good. We can take these helmets off. No. Leave them on until we get to the control room, and I can secure environmental integrity to the entire vessel. Mr. Chell, you may now open the door. Mr. Monroe, lead the way. So I'm guessing this is must be yet another abandoned ship sort of thing. Nobody on it, but we know there's gonna be people on you. Watch it! Or something. You know, I don't think I'm gonna be expecting to be walk around this ship for about half an hour with nothing happening. What the hell? Ceasefire. That's a harvester? I don't know. It looked bigger before we killed it. Let us hope, Mr. Chell, that you do not mistake one of us for a harvester. Mr. Chell, if you would. Am I the only person who's going to get on here? Come on then. Maybe I can push them on to the thing. Come on. Oh well, at least Chell's got on here. God, I've never seen it take so long for like a group of people to get onto a lift. Oh, where the hell was he? He wasn't even in the same bit as us. He was around the corner. I bet it's Chang. Oh yes, it's Chang. get to the elevator at the end of this hall. The door's being jammed by something on the other side. Oh, blood. These look like hibernation beds. I guess there was a crew after all. A small crew, perhaps. So where are they? Harvesters. I'm sure we'll find out soon. The control room is still one deck above this one. We must get to that elevator. Chang, see if the debris can be blown clear. Chell, find a layout of this deck. Satlos, you and I will attempt to force the jammed door. Monroe, Murphy, see if there's an alternate route. Watch it. I don't know, sir. I don't think this door can be opened without moving whatever's blocking it on the other side. Mr. Chang, what is your assessment? Can I go through here? No good, sir. The molecular density and tensile strength of this material is so high that the packs would barely scratch the surface. Looks like there's a maintenance hatch on the other side. But 